Good morning, everyone. It's me, Johnny V, your uh, environmental engineer, uh, engineering your life, um, and also the host of the Green Thumbs Chronicles, uh, where sometimes we talk about how the truth will set you free, and in some ways, uh, almost inevitably, everything that is made by uh, God most likely is good for you, and then if it has man's hand in it, inevitably it will be something that will flush everything away um, as it seems to be doing due to some political and some also um, controlling elements that's going on in our world. But it would seem that someone has once again changed their mind about this stimulus bill. The aim of our great leaders now is to put a stimulus bill, a standalone stimulus bill on the table just because they are that nice. This is just how big their hearts are. They're very sweet, kind, loving individuals. Um, and you know that, and your proof to that is that after ignoring the pandemic for months and allowing many uh, to lose their lives, uh, when they call our soldiers that lost their lives for the country losers, uh, when they asked Ukraine to dig up dirt. I mean, these are all examples of just how nice, um, you know, our political leaders have been in the last uh, several months. Um, and uh, also, you know, maybe some of the politicians that are riding uh, with these beauty queens to Washington, D.C., who are trying to get an edge on a pageant of some sort, um, you know, I don't know. Are they paying them off to keep their mouth closed, too, over something that's happened, uh, you know, through the drive through at Burger King during lunch? You know, you never know, because they might be using your... Um, they might be using your hard-earned money, your piggyback money that you just pulled out of your piggy bank that you forgot you had in the closet to, uh, you know, pay off some beautiful ladies to um, ride shotgun with them as they, of course, do their jobs in our uh, great Washington, D.C. of ours. Now, Pelosi, who leads the Democrats and the kind-hearted women that we all have come to know and love, and we know that she is, right, is against this once again, because she claims that a standalone stimulus bill would leave out many needy people, many needy groups of people, people that I um, you know, haven't heard her talk much about, uh, you know, any of the people that have lost their families, you know, or family members. Um, and then wait a minute, what groups do really do really need a stimulus at this point? Um, I'd say, you know, those hundreds of thousands of people that lost uh, their entire families to COVID-19, uh, you know, and maybe they're even facing unemployment. Um, and, you know, and then COVID-19 that's rising like the jaws of a great white that'll inevitably bite the heads, inevitably bite the heads off of many more of us before it sinks back to the waters and goes on its uh, own merry way, which um, we don't know what century that's going to happen. You know, and yet we've decided to uh, do the presidential elections by the November 3rd virtually, which is just, you know, uh, par for the course because it sets the stage for the virtual leadership that the winning candidate will provide once elected with all the promises and cutthroat insults being forgiven and uh, forgotten like two MMA fighters who beat the living shit out of one another and then they give each other hugs and kisses because it was all just for show anyway and it was just a sport and so no hard feelings Americans who believe that they would get a protected uh, health care protected uh, their, their retirement, or they would be receiving some kind of a stimulus. Uh, you know, everything that was promised, Americans, no hard feelings because it was all just for show. Um, you know, you know, and even the lowering of the taxes, it was all just show. There wasn't, none of that was true. Uh, you know, how about, um, you know, the stimulus uh, uh, and, and the $250 a month that nobody's receiving like they're supposed to for the unemployment here in Florida, you know, um, Where's that at? And no, it's all, you know, just for show. And uh, that's just how they're going to do it. The political system is going to go virtual for this year's election and uh, make sure that we have a virtual president. Um, maybe we should just get a, uh, you know, a statue or a uh, robotic president. I mean, you never know. They might be able to make better decisions, uh, you know do some better calculations for the people that are in trouble and need. And maybe they remember things a little better, you know? I mean, how, how and where in, in, in history have you ever heard of politicians 
on TV, not being able to remember the name of a state, the name of a of a of a of a uh, you know person that they were just speaking of, the name of um, um, parts of our constitution quoted incorrectly. I mean, I have never heard anything so you know backward uh, in all my years that I've been here uh, alive in this United States. Now, with over 850,000 families applying for unemployment weekly, we all know that Wall Street is doing just great. And how is that happening? Well, all the losses of those poor people and families is being bought up by those who never needed a job to begin with. Um, they had and have and will always keep their money and at the loss of millions uh, you know, of others that um, were you know, misfortune. So they, their, their, their whole thing is to you know, um, take advantage of the misfortune of others. And um, that's why Wall Street is doing good. You know, the stock market is on a rise. It's not because people have jobs or better jobs. It's just because, because these people are, have now, uh, you know, uh, been able to, you know, glom up all of, the, all of the millions that have been lost by, uh, you know, innocent people that have been caught, you know, in the crossfire of this pandemic and the political, uh, you know, in, uh, I'm going to say, uh, incompetency, the political incompetency of our, of our, of our government. Um, but, wow, can they ever agree on anything? I mean, let's face it, you know, Pelosi, who disagreed on a standalone bill, all right, on one hand, and uh, uh, one, one thing that seems pretty clear to me, though, they have agreed on is that they do not think that in the middle of a pandemic, with hundreds of thousands of Americans dying, with job losses, businesses all flushed down the toilet, you know, the, uh, the governmental agencies and powers to be have agreed that for the past eight months, we, the American people, do not need payments for our rent. We do not need money for our, uh, you know, for our shelter. We don't need food. I mean, let's face it, um, as they take vacations, they don't seem to care. They're flying around, having a good old time, uh, you know, in some exotic place. We don't need to pay our bills while they're on vacation because they're on vacation. They're shutting down for two months. That was last year, by the way. Um, you know, so everyone seems to understand that there's a little bit of, or quite a bit of, you know, um, I'm going to say, uh, in consideration to the, the need and, 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 and the fate of so many. You know, we don't have to take care of our families. Um, they have most certainly agreed on that. They have agreed that for the last eight months, that's an absolute, by the way. That's proof in the pudding. We do not have and have not had any real assistance from our government, you know, in the last almost year now, up until this election. So the unspoken is like the dark matter in the universe. It takes up most of the space between their ears. I'm not sure if we all understand that because it's the dark matter. And like dark matter, there seems to be no engine powered vehicle large enough that could pull a needle out of the ass of anyone that could help the American people at the governmental level. And I think you understand, you know, where I'm coming from on this. We're talking about a very thin needle of help. A ray of hope cannot be pulled out from the cracks of the individuals that all they have to do is put a signature on a piece of paper and give people the help they desperately need, okay? So, as we all know, no one has money to buy food and shelter for their families, but the hypocrites, who I won't mention, uh, that on one hand don't want to have a standalone bill, <clears throat> Pelosi, um, because it would leave other needy groups, um, you know, she was at the same time working with Treasury, uh, Treasury Secretary Munichin, however you say his guy without a chin, on a standalone bill to aid the airline industry, which is continuing to be addressed. So now they want to help, okay? They want to help the airline industry, but not assist the people who lost their jobs because they're not as important as the airline industry. And hey, by the way, we all know that when nobody has any money, when nobody has money for food or for new clothes or shoes, you know, um, and shelter for their families, those people will always have money to fly on exotic vacations around the world. 
because the airlines are functioning properly, okay? And to ease their troubled minds, you know, this is how it's going to be. We will all take nice long vacations across the world to ease our troubled mind when we have no money for food and shelter, okay? And when we return, we'll find that we have left our loved ones laying buried in the sands of time. So we are just dust in the wind after all of our political system is making sure that no one is left behind, okay? I know I've heard these lyrics somewhere before. Someone shed some light on this stupidity, please. And stay tuned and subscribe to what is now just the beginning of a new kind of American trying to wake up some of those who cannot seem to put the pieces of the puzzle together as to how screwed we are all going to become because nobody in our political system knows how to carry the ball from the zero yard line to the five yard line and let alone score a winning touchdown. So yeah, that's the game. The game is they win while you lose and that's the only way they're gonna win is by allowing many of us to suffer unjust and never get ahead, never, never, never break out of that ceiling that's been imposed on us from day one by our tax brackets that we live under, by our political system that we uh, have to, um, you know, that we have to answer to constantly. We are at the mercy of a merciless machine that will just roll over the skulls of the many that have passed away and the many more that will still pass away without any mercy and without slowing down and who knows what's going to happen next. I mean, what is the toll of all this? You all leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, we'll see you next time around. Thank you. Bye-bye.